Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Hey, this week we're going to talk about how to efficiently use the propane in our RVs in cold weather. Have you ever noticed that in cold weather you run through your propane faster than you do in the summer? Well, the first thing's first. You should only use propane in the summer because that's the most efficient, right? You know, to cook food that you don't really care about the taste because propane doesn't add any flavor to your food anyway. Aside from that, we actually use propane to heat up our RV, but we use the outside air in order to take that liquefied propane and turn it into a gas. When we purchase the propane, it's in a liquefied state, and we have to use the outside heat in order to convert it from a um, uh, from a liquid over to a vapor. We would do that simply because propane wants to boil, turn into a vapor, at minus 40 degrees. The irony upon ironies, we use it in the winter when it's super cold outside, so there's not much heat. So here's the thought. In order to efficiently and to maximize the use of our propane, because we've got small cylinders, small tanks, is to find a way to warm them up. Okay? Now, first and foremost, move your dang on brake. Stop trying to winter in the in the winter. Stop trying to go up north in the winter and use your propane. Oh, my two inch walls. They're so efficient. Next thing you need to do is warm up those cylinders. That's what we need to focus on. If you warm up the cylinders and the area around the cylinders, you get more efficiency. You get to maximize the efficiency of the total amount of BTUs in that tank. First and foremost, how do you do that? I know a lot of you know it, pee on it. Warm them up. Well, here's the thing. We want to find a safe and uh, inexpensive way to warm those up. Now, there are propane uh, cylinder warmers. It's a rubber gasket that you can put on that it actually either works off 12 volts or 120 volts. It has a timer, but it also has a temperature limit on there. And that's really, I mean, there's already stuff out there that's really what you want to use. The problem is they're about 160 bucks okay, each. 125 to 160 bucks each. Now, before, we'd also talk about using, uh, maybe a little bit cheaper, is to use a heated blanket. I need to add to the heated blanket thing because, of course, we're going to have ice forming on the outside of that uh, propane cylinder whenever using it. And if I put fabric around there, I may end up messing up that heated blanket. So this is what you do. Okay. One thing you do relatively cheap is actually put uh, some type of Reflectix or that bubble wrap around your propane cylinder, then put your heated blanket around there. If your propane cylinder is actually inside some type of cap. Of course, we don't want to do that outside because you're going to say, hey, Todd, you're saying use electricity out in the rain. No, I'm not saying put it inside. All right. Another thing that you could do is the heated lamp. Any of you from Colorado, you know what I'm saying. A grow lamp, right? So you can grow your herbs. Mm -hmm. What you could do is use that lamp pretty close in proximity to your propane tank. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is take that lamp and stick it underneath, right? Because we're going to have water dripping. We don't want to do that. So another uh, warm way, of course, now some of you just say, well, just put a blanket. A blanket doesn't add heat. So what we want to do is find some way to add heat, some radiant heat around that. Okay. I'm not big on heated tape. Now, those of you up north, you got some experience with that. Here's the reason why. Heated tape, if you read it carefully, it says don't stack it on itself. I've got instances where they stack upon itself and it actually overheats and actually melts everything around it. What we're trying to do is heat up the area around that propane tank. And I can't quite figure out how you could put that tape on there without it falling down. I know some of you are going to say, hey, you just do this, you know, use this tape here or whatever. So the thing is, we just want to keep those tanks warm. So a heated blanket, you know, with some Reflectix, um, go, go ahead and buy the propane cylinder uh, heaters, uh, or a grow lamp. One of those three things. Now let's go ahead and talk about how to more efficiently keep your RV, uh, nice and toasty in the winter. So looking at that real quick, first and foremost, again, move south, right? You're RVing for a reason, right? I don't question your adult decision-making skills buying the RV. I question your skills, your decision-making skills when you take it up north in the winter. What are you doing? All right. So let's say you can't move it. So what we want to do is prevent some of the air from coming in. If you're going to be somewhere where it's cold, you're going to be there for a while. One thing you can do is put some type of skirting around the bottom, right? As that cold air goes up underneath, heat rises. And if you take away all that heat as it's blowing up underneath, man, you're really fighting an uphill battle. 
So find a way to skirt it, block the wind from going up underneath the RV. If you can't do that, a couple other things, of course, put some reflectix in the windows. I know that a lot of us, we do that in the summer, but you can do that in the winter. That adds another layer of protection because those windows are reflecting the coldness from outside and heat runs to cold. So all of the heat inside our RV is running over to the windows. If we can add a layer of protection right there, another heat barrier, then we can kind of keep that inside because all of that just goes over to the window. Well, you're never going to heat up that window because the outside ambient temperature is far more vast, way colder than anything we have inside the RV space heaters. So let's talk about the safe way to hook up a uh, space heater. And that is don't plug it into a power strip. That power strip is probably not rated for the 1500 to nearly 1800 watts that that space heater is going to actually draw. Best thing to do is hook it directly into your outlet. A couple of things you can do is if you're not in a room, close that room off. There's no sense in allowing the heat to go in there. If possible, keep it centralized wherever you're at. That's why I love space heaters. Another thing that you can do is, uh, of course, keep doors closed, keep the windows closed. If you do have gaps, you want to go ahead and take care of those. But I would say take care of those now before winter comes. So check your seals, make sure you don't have any uh, obscenely uh, large gaps. Don't use your oven as a heating source. That's just dumb. All right, so here's the thing as well as you not only want to keep the inside warm, you want to keep those tanks, you know, propane tanks warm. You also want to keep your holding tanks warm. If you have tank warmers, definitely want to do that because you don't want that water freezing. As it freezes, it expands, causes too much trouble. So turn on the tank warmers as well. Eventually, some of that, if we can keep that from freezing, that also keeps that floor nice and toasty as well. Not 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 like warm like a, say, a, a hydronic system, but at least it's not freezing, and that's what we want to prevent. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of like what they set up north. Hey, look, if you're on the subway, you know, put your AirPods up. <laughs> so here's what's going on. I should start from the beginning. You ever notice that in the... <laughs> no, what else? I'm going to go read. Hey, let's do that again. Say it, say it real loud. Let's talk about how to efficiently... <laughs> it's a Monday. <laughs> Throw me a bone. Do re mi fa so la ti do, do re mi fa so la ti do, do re mi fa so la ti do. Because you're going to get robbed no matter what. So it's like me saying, hey, dress warmer. Let's talk about not using, not overusing our propane. No, let's say this. Yes, dress warmer. Put on a second pair of underwear, right? Keep all the do re mi fa so la ti do. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Hey, this week we're going to talk about how to efficiently use. <laughs> Sounds like I'm skipping. So on that, we'll see if that makes the cut. <laughs>